Hi Sag, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. All right? You have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, okay, the Eight of Swords, and then the Hierophant, okay. We have the world card. The moon. And then the page of pentacles. Okay. Underneath the deck is the death card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. We could have that placement. But I'm getting something. A very sudden change that's about to happen to you it's a rebirth actually but something has to die off first something has to be let go of first something has to be removed from your life first before this new thing comes in all right and i tell you this is how you let this go this is how you're going to let this go all right the ace of wands as the as the overall energy of your deck I'm getting you realize that this connection that you're currently in is just, well, it's all about passion. There's no, I'm sorry, there's no substance to it. It's just passion. For some of you, this is someone who could be, you know, someone you're just messing around with. I'm sorry. Take it out, resonates. Someone who you could just be, you know, who's a booty call to you or your booty call to this person. There's a lot of sex involved, I have to say. But it's just passion. And I'm getting you are the one who's realizing this, Sag. You're the one who's realizing this. That it's just passion. And it suddenly fizzles out. Like yesterday, it was... Like... It was so hot and passionate and romantic between the two of you. And then today, you realize that, hmm, this is not really someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is not really someone I, I want to see, I see a future with. Suddenly, you realize that it was just all about the sex. The Five of Pentacles and then the World card. Mm. So you walk away. Please don't ghost this person, all right? I'm sorry if you heard that the person laughing. That is someone who's a Sag, actually. I'm sorry. Anyway, going back to your reading. I'm getting Spirit is stopping you from just ghosting this person and close this chapter the most proper way possible don't leave this person hanging and hoping all right close this chapter be honest with this person walk away properly okay the eight of swords to the moon card don't fear all right, don't be afraid about, uh, you know, you doing the closing of the chapter. Instead of l leaving this person very much in their head, overthinking, feeling anxious about what you're doing in the dark, just tell them you want to be independent. You want to, you know, move away from this connection. You want to move away from this situation. Be honest. Just be honest, all right? The Hierophant and then the Page of Pentacles. 
something new is about to come in just have faith all right someone could be younger than you taking out resonates but this is someone you probably probably meet like at a coffee shop like accidentally they take your coffee and they buy you buy you they you they buy you a new one i don't know just that's what i'm picking up on what is the outcome you have the king of cups the ace of swords and then the page of wands The outcome is the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and then the Page of Wands. The truth will come out. All right, the truth will come out. Someone new is coming in for you. Someone who is very um, honest with how they feel for you. Someone who loves you very much. Okay. For some reason picking up on this person telling you directly not to just be flirty and playful and take them seriously i don't know who this is for but just this is what i'm picking up on you have the eight of the eight of wands the five of swords and then the death card as advice the need to communicate clearly all right eight of wands the need to communicate clearly if you could do it face to face with this person, do it. All right. You have the five of swords. Stop acting selfishly. And then the death card. Something new again is about to come in, but it needs it, it there's a need for you to let go of the old person. Okay. You have you have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and then playfulness to re to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to f of fun to shine playfulness with the page of wands still attraction you find you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and then let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and then you have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay all right high honor all right the highest honor Underneath the deck is wealthy man, so you could be dealing with a wealthy man or someone, or you are a a wealthy person. Um, high honor could be dealing with someone who has high honors. I'm getting you're being lifted up to a better place. And then you have improving health. So maybe right now, you're looking at your health. You're improving your health. You're going on a diet. I don't know. Take it out. Resonates, Sag. That is all I have for you. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading. And stay blessed.